Now, as I've already said, one of the most awesome things about Scrivener is the fact that you can create your file once and um, you can actually compile it in different ways. So it is output at, in all sorts of different ways. Um, formats ready to upload to all of these different e-readers and um, print-on-demand services. Now, we're obviously working with um, just our basic document that we started. We started with a completely blank canvas. Um, and I will include some videos in here that will go into some uh, more complex tactics where you can have everything you need for your um print and digital editions all packed into one Scrivener file. But right now, let's continue to just work with our basic document that we've pulled together over the um, these last few minutes as we've worked together. And um, let's just go up here to compile. OK, so um, this is the button we're looking at, this uh, little uh, page here with a blue arrow. It says compile for export or print. Now, if you click that button, it's going to bring up this terribly intimidating um, <laughs> compile options screen. You've got a, a summary, OK, and then you've got all of these options and, and truly there are many options. So, um, yeah, before you run away, OK, just stay with me, bear with me, and uh, I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do to output your new book for Kindle in a format that it will just love um, and that will cause you no problems at all, together with a clickable table of contents um, should you want it. Now, um, actually doing this in Microsoft Word, I've, I, I did some of my very first Kindle books, I formatted um, according to guidelines that I read from Amazon about uh, getting everything in place. So you've got your proper clickable table of contents, etc, etc. And to be quite honest, even though I would consider myself quite geeky, um, it was a nightmare. And uh, when I discovered just how easily we can do this with the Scrivener engine, the compile engine, um, I again just fell in love with uh, the, just the power and the ease that this program gives us. So here we are in our compile screen ready to compile for Kindle. Now, if you will just follow me step by step, don't concern yourself with a bunch of um, unnecessary items, okay? Um, we can look into these things in more detail later, but we don't need to right now. This is all that you need to do. So you go here and you choose ebook. Very, very simple. And then if you go down to here, compile for Kindle. Yeah. Um, then in our separators, we want to make sure that everything says section break. Now, what we can do here if we want to, because th this is a, a, a preset that we will use probably um, again and again. So if we go down here and go to Manage, Compile, Format, Presets, we can create ourselves a brand new preset and we can call it, let's call it My Kindle ebook for example you can call it what you like so i'm going to just going to create that preset so i've got it in place now that means i'm not going to make any changes to the existing presets that come packaged with scrivener um, and also that any any changes that i make here um, i can save so i can use it again next time i publish my kindle book and so um, we've got co cover here and if you click on cover you'll find that it says no cover image. Now, if you've not brought an image into your project, there won't be anything to pick up. But um, 
If you watched the previous video about adding a cover to your project, you'll see that we pulled in a JPEG and that JPEG will appear or any of the images that you've pulled into your um, project folder will appear here and you can choose the appropriate one. As, as it is, I've got one. Uh, I choose that as my cover image. Formatting, really, don't worry about that. Don't stress, okay? Um, title adjustments, don't worry about that. Don't stress. Layout, um, this uh, is very, very useful. Basically, um, it's gonna, we've got clicked here and this will come by default. Generate an HTM table of com um, contents. Center the body text of the HTML. HTML table of contents. You can have it sit over to the left. I prefer it centered. Um, and then I'm just going to call the contents title contents. Seems pretty good to me. So if you want uh, a clickable table of contents in your ebook that you're putting onto Kindle, um, make sure that this is selected. If not, you can just remove it and it won't be generated. Okay, transformations. Um, I don't know. I don't usually touch this, but if you're in the habit of putting double spaces at the end of sentences or whatever, you may want to just convert multiple spaces to single spaces, um, remove trailing white space from documents or whatever. The, these will just apply a few bits of tidying up um, if if needed. Generally, like I say, if you've uh, formatted your text correctly at the outset, it's not going to make too much difference. Uh, you don't need to worry about that either, really. HTML settings, don't worry about it. Replacements, okay, don't worry about it. Statistics, don't worry about it. Tables, don't worry about it. Footnotes, don't worry about it. This one, we will fill in, okay? So it will be pre-populated with some of the information that you've um, used before, such as your file name, but you can change it here. So we've got Scrivener Tutorial. Um, I like using my full name. Um, you don't really have to add all of this information. It's not, it's not necessary. The only important thing is that you fill the title and the authors in here. Um, you may want to fill in this other information, but it's not necessary. And then finally, when you're outputting to Kindle, um, it's going to come up with this little Kindle Gen um, kind of option here. Now, when you um, first open Scrivener, yeah, you'll come to this Kindle Gen area and it will say that Kindle Gen has not been uh, installed on your computer, but it will have the link. Here we go that you can go and you can download this little app that will integrate directly with um, your Scrivener program. And what this is going to do, this is just a, a kind of an engine that allows Scrivener to change things into exactly the right kind of format that Kindle is looking for. So if you've not already installed that, please do so. It's very easy. Just follow the link um, and follow the instructions and you'll have it done in a couple of minutes. Once that's installed, you're ready to compile for Kindle. So you just press the compile button here. Um, it will ask you where you would like to um, save that file. I'm going to save it directly to my desktop um, and export. Scrivener will just take um, a few moments to pull everything together and do its magic. And what you will end up with is a file like this. Okay, so this is a .mobi file. Okay, just very, very um, easy. This is the file that you will upload to Amazon. Now, in order to um, check that this file is okay, 
what I've done is I've downloaded the Kindle Previewer. Again, this is something that you can、um, download directly from the Amazon website. Okay, so you can go to Amazon、um, and you can download onto your PC or onto your Mac the Kindle Previewer. You open the Kindle Previewer and you just go Open Book, and then we will just roll through to where we saved our book, Scrivener Tutorial. Okay, wherever you saved it, and then just click Open. Kindle Previewer is opening the book, so we've now opened our、um, our book, our .mobi file in the Kindle Previewer. You can look at it in the different Kindle devices, so the Kindle Fire, the Kindle Fire HD, the Kindle Fire 8.9 inch.、Um, it did it used to include the、uh, original Kindle version, but you know, obviously, those are being phased out a bit more now.、Um, and you can take a look. We can look at our our cover. And see how that would look.、Um, we can look at our table of contents. So, like I say, here is the table of table of contents that we've created.、Um, this was automatically created from within、um, our Scrivener compilation. And you know, these are clickable. So, if I click on them,、um, it will take me to the right place. So that takes care of Scrivener. Takes care of all of that. For you, which is, believe me, very very useful,、um, and then you can just kind of look through your book, go from page to page, make sure everything is to your liking, yeah, before you upload it to Amazon. Very very simple and、um, extremely useful. So there you go. Great. Well done.